Hi, Rochelle with Lady Fermenter. Today we're going to talk about storing grain. And the reason we want to share that with you is we've realized that if we do it this way, we can help grain stay fresh for a very long time. Now you're going to want to stick around to the end because we're going to share our best tip on how to get inexpensive, dare I say cheap, bulk airtight food grade containers for your grain. This is a five gallon or 18.9 liter bucket. And you will need two of these to hold a bag of grain. That is 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. Now, for smaller grains, we use a bucket as well. And we just put the um, bags, the smaller bags inside. But these, are wonderful lids. They are food grade airtight containers. But the problem with them, at least for me, is they're really difficult to open. So what I recommend you get is one of these bucket openers and I'll figure out where we got this one and I'll link it down below for you. Now pro tip number one is you're going to want to label your buckets. I recommend on the outside of the bucket, not on the lid, because lids get moved around, and I'm not smart enough to look at the grain and know what type it is. The other thing is label it on the inside. Now on the outside, we label one of one and two of two, and we use them in that order. That way, when we get to bucket two of two, we know that that's all we have of that grain. Labeling it on the inside of the bucket is a fail safe for in case this uh, label disappears and for me it's a double check when I'm weighing grain that I've grabbed the right stuff. Now another thing you can do is if you don't like those lids you can get these gamma seals. Now these gamma seals are really cool. Sounds like a commercial they're not sponsoring us yet but they will turn a three and a half gallon Three and a half to seven gallon standard bucket into an airtight container. And where did you get those from? These you can find, I've been getting them at the big box, and they're, I don't know if I said this already, but they're $6.99, so seven, I'll call that seven US dollars. And they snap on, I'll show you a, a new one, difference between a new one, which has not been snapped onto a bucket, and one which has. The cool thing about these, and I love these because they save my hands, is they now are twist on. So how cool is that? Now, as promised, we were going to share our best tip for getting cheap, inexpensive, airtight, food-grade containers. Check this out. This is a frosting bucket. So our tip for you is make friends with your local baker, whether it be in a grocery store or an independent. This is what they get their frosting in. And these make great storage bins for grains. The other place you can check, now we've gotten a bunch of these for free from one of the guys in our club who does, who makes wine. This is how they get their grape juice. Now this is a six and a half or 23 liter bucket and it comes with a grommeted lid, also airtight. So we just wanted to share because we found that our grain lasts a very long time and stays nice and fresh. And How it'll long save does it you. Last? It well, we've had one last, but well, we just made a beer, and I am reusing the bucket. We just made a beer, make using Mecca Grade Metolius. This is September 2023, and it was from 2020, and the grain was perfectly fine. How can you tell if the grain isn't fine? Great question. So all you need to do is pop a few kernels in your mouth. If it's crisp and crunchy, it's perfect to grew, brew with. If it's soft and mealy, it's not good to brew with, but it's a perfect candidate for your compost pile. So we hope this has been helpful um, because honestly, you can save a lot of money just by buying bulk and storing it so that in case you're worried about not being able to go through a bag of grain quickly, um, a typical bag of pale two row is $2 per pound 
or $75 for a 55 or 25 liter, or not liter, but 25 kilogram bag of grain. So that's a significant savings. Um, and you know that you can keep your grain nice and fresh. Now, one more thing I need to add is we keep it in our basement because we brew in our kitchen. And our basement ranges anywhere from 55F or 13C to 68F or 20C. So just to give you um, full disclosure of the temperature range in which this grain is stored. So we hope this helps. Thanks a pint for watching.